the Fantastic Four, the Marvel Cinematic Universe arrived in season two of Iron Fist. The Netflix series made a reference to Marvel's first family in the sixth episode of season two, and it's not the first tease of an MCU future for Fox characters. <clears throat> I need an ambulance at 42 Baxter. For those who don't know, 42 Baxter is the address for the iconic Baxter Building, the best-known headquarters to the Fantastic Four in Marvel Comics, and it may very well be under construction. The Baxter Building has appeared in both cinematic iterations of the Fantastic Four, but neither of those attempts were any good, so it might be time for something new. The movie and TV rights to the Fantastic Four and X-Men characters are preparing to head home to Marvel Studios with Disney purchasing Fox, the studio where their rights have resided since the 90s. With that in mind, could a Netflix series for the Fantastic Four be the MCU's answer? rather than a third attempt at the big screen with these characters. Keep in mind, Daredevil was once a Fox-owned property too, and he landed on Netflix. While 13 streaming hours of Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, The Thing, and The Human Torch sounds nice, it also kinda sucks to think that that way they wouldn't be interacting with the big screen Avengers characters like they do in Marvel Comics. Kevin Feige's Avengers-centric cinematic universe and Jeff Loeb's Defenders-based TV corner of it have rarely ever overlapped, but after Inhumans, can we really blame Feige for trying to protect what's his? 42 Baxter and Iron Fist might just be a random easter egg to serve as fans of Marvel Comics, but it feels like an indication that Disney is confident in their efforts to acquire Fox and start using all of those characters. Plus, this isn't the only hint of plans for Fox-owned Marvel characters in the MCU. A Marvel Studios art book recently declared that Scarlet Witch, a known mutant in Marvel Comics and the daughter of Magneto, merely had something latent inside of her unlocked by Loki's Mind Stone, meaning they can claim she had the mutant gene all along. As for Quicksilver, well, He's still dead. Do you think Disney and Marvel are planning to unleash the Fantastic Four and X-Men characters within the MCU? If so, would you want them to keep the current cast members or go with a total reboot? And is a Netflix series actually a good idea? Let me know what you think in the comment section and hit me up on Twitter at Brandon Davis BD. And be sure to follow our Comic Book Now Facebook page for more awesome updates just like this one.